yogis, uh, ready for half an hour of rise and stretch. Have Bear here at the moment, but if he misbehaves, he's going in the living room. I hope you're all feeling well. I hope you're all ready for a good breathing exercise, a good stretch. Come to a comfortable seated position on your mat or on a towel or just on the floor. And make sure you're sitting with your palms turned to face upwards and your spine fairly straight but not rigid. My name is Faye Lockhart and I'm your teacher this morning. Relax your jaw, relax your face, move your tongue away from the teeth and let the tongue rest in the middle of the mouth. Start to lift the sternum towards the chin and start to draw the navel in towards the spine and then start to lift the pelvic floor to the navel. Let's start off breathing deeply now. So inhale, exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Now let's link the body's movement, which is called vinyasa, to the breath. So bring the hands down to the side and then inhale, reach the arms up, palms together. And then exhale, bring the arms down by the side. And again, inhale, reach the arms up, palms together. And then exhale, bring the arms down by the side. Let's do this once more. So inhale, reach the arms up. And then exhale, bring the arms down by the side. And then lean over to your right side. Swoop the left arm across. You're going to breathe in. And then we're going to exhale, reach across. Inhale. It's going to have to go, isn't it? Exhale, reach the arm over and stay there. Sorry, Bear, you got to go. Thank you. And one more breath. And then slowly come all the way up. All right, let's go for the other side. Inhale, and then exhale. Nice diagonal line. When you do this, make sure you don't bend the elbow. Inhale, lift into the ribs. Exhale, cross, and once more, inhale, and exhale, excellent, come all the way back up, and then lie down on your back, bring your knees into your chest, bounce your knees, I hope your back is feeling good today, guys, alright, so just take your knees around in little circles, remember today is a new day, and a new momentum is arising, so set the tone now. Today is a good day. Today is a good day. All momentum from yesterday subsided in your sleep. So today is a blank canvas and a chance to begin again. So drop your knees down to the left side. Extend your right arm out to the right side. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in, breathe out, slowly come up, and then over to the other side, look over opposite shoulder, inhale, and exhale, breathe in, breathe out, slowly come up, and raise your legs, raise your arms, circle your ankles, Circle your wrists, that's it, get rid of all any stickiness and then start to make little circles with the legs but keep your back pinned against the mat and then we start to make the circles slightly larger, slightly larger and then we'll circle around the other way and then just grab the feet, pull down on the feet Move the feet around, rock from side to side, really work into your hips. See if you can get your knees down onto the mat. Cool. All right, now extend the legs down the mat. Extend the arms all the way up the mat. And then bring the knees into the chest, roll over to one side and then come all the way up into a seated position. Come on to all fours. Now, I don't know if you know the history of yoga, but 
the ancient yogis get up at 4 a.m. They go to the mountains and they watch the animals. And that's why all the yoga poses are named after animals. So we're going to do cats and cow now. So hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. We're going to inhale, arch the spine. Now this is cat, cow pose. Exhale, round the back. Inhale, arch the spine. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, arching the spine. Last one, exhale through the mouth. And then slowly come back to neutral spine. Inhale, meet the right arm all the way up. Exhale, bring the right hand down. Inhale, bring the left arm all the way up. Exhale, left hand down. Now tuck your toes underneath and come into down facing dog. And walk your dog out. So let's just rock our hips from side to side. Let's press one heel down. Let's press the other heel down. Press both heels down. Feel this. We're going to hold this for about 30 seconds. Try to have no movement now. Just hold your down dog and the only movement we've got now is the movement of the breath. One, breathe in. Breathe, two, one more breath, breathe in. And three, excellent. Now come back down onto your knees. Take your arms forward for puppy dog. If you want a big stretch, a big opening for your shoulders, then have your thumbs touching each other. Bring the chest and the chin down onto the mat. Three or four big breaths in, inhale. Exhale, one, two, inhale. Exhale, one. Breathe in. Breathe out for two, don't overdo it. Inhale, exhale for three, let's stay for one more breath. Inhale, exhale for four. Come down onto your tummy with your forearms in front of you, coming into Sphinx Pose. Lift your elbows, two breaths, one. Two, slowly release. Now bend the legs, take the hands by the lower ribs, lift the ribs. One, two, pull back into child and push all the way into down facing dog. Now keep your heels down as much as you can. Release the left hand and grab the outside edge of the right ankle. If you can't reach your ankle, then go up to the knee. Two breaths, inhale, exhale for one, inhale, exhale for two, release, bring the hand back, let's swap sides, look into the left arm, inhale, exhale for one, inhale, exhale for two, release, back into down facing dog. Inhale, sweep the right leg up, three-legged dog. Try and keep your hips square, one, two. Now, as you exhale, take the right foot forward outside the hand, coming into a big, juicy lunge. This is called the crocodile. A little rock from side to side. And then inhale, let's invite a twist, so bring the right arm up. And then exhale, bring the right hand down inside the foot. Drop the back heel down. And then inhale, reach the left arm up. And then exhale, left hand down. Now, as this is only half an hour, we're going to come down onto the knee. And then come up into a kneeling position. So we're in our lunge. Roll the shoulders back. Don't dump into your back. Hold it here. Breathe in. Breathe out for one, inhale, exhale for two, one more, inhale, exhale for three, 
exhale for three. Now let's reach the arms up. Coming into true crescent. Inhale. Exhale for one. Can you look up to your hands? Inhale. Exhale for two. Now slowly bring the hands down. Just take yourself back into down facing dog. Hang out here. Take an extra breath. Inhale. Exhale through the mouth. Step the feet back. We're coming into a plank. And then we're going to slowly come down onto our tummy. Roll the shoulders back. Inhale, cobra pose. Elbows back. As we exhale, pull back and push into down facing dog. Inhale, left leg rises nice and high. And then as we exhale, take the left foot forward. And again, we're in lunge. Bring both hands inside the foot for a moment. And then drop the right palm. Inhale, left arm comes up. Exhale, left hand inside the foot, drop the back heel. Inhale, right arm comes up, keep the hips low. And then exhale, right hand down and step back into your dog. Actually, we missed something, didn't we? <laughs> so just come down onto your right knee and then come up. All right, are you ready? Inhale. Exhale, lunge. Inhale. Exhale, lunge. Reach your arms up. Two breaths. Inhale. Exhale, lunge. Inhale. Exhale, lunge. All right, doing good. Looking good. Tuck the toes underneath. Back into your dog. Now, step the feet back. Come forward into plank. Lower your tummy down onto the mat. Inhale, pressing slightly higher cobra now. And then as we exhale, pull back, tuck the toes underneath, press into your dog. Let's do one more. So inhale, raise the right leg. As you exhale, take the foot forward. Now come down onto the left knee. Let yourself dump into that left hip. Take the right hand onto the right knee. And then bend the back leg and just see if you can reach your foot. Look over your right shoulder. Two or three breaths. Inhale. Exhale for one. Inhale. Exhale for two. Inhale. Exhale for three. Slowly release. Now, can you come down onto your forearms? And rock a little bit from side to side. Rocking from side to side. I'm wondering if I should just move into the sunshine. Maybe it's a little bit dark there. Let's just see if this makes a bit of a difference. Moving into the sunshine. Into the sunshine. What does that look like? <clears throat> Let me just see. All right, so here I am in the sunshine, full of shadows. Um, yeah, all right, hopefully this is a little bit better. So let's just take the left foot forward, coming into lunge, and drop the right knee, and then float the left arm back, bend the back leg, grab the foot, hold it for two or three, one, let the right hip dump into the ground, two, and three. Release, pull back, come all the way down, inhale, cobra pose, exhale, pull back, and then just come all the way through into a wide-legged seated. Okay, so rise and stretch, <laughs> rise and shine. Here we are, let's get the hips moving. So just go from one side to the other, one side to the other. And then to the front, woo, and then back, and then forward, and then back, and then over to one side, over to the other side, and then reach your arms up. Inhale, 
As you exhale, bring your fingers down, come forward, 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 and down. This is called flat pancake or forward fold. The Sanskrit's Ubhavista Konasana. Inhale. As you exhale, release any tension, let it go. Breathe in. Breathe out. Allow the pelvis to roll forward. Inhale. Exhale. One more. And then we can slowly come back up. Bring the right leg and bend at the knee. Place a block under the left sit bone if you need to, to take the pressure off the right knee. Place the left hand on the left foot, just reach the right arm up, look over your right shoulder, inhale, exhale, breathe in, breathe out. Now take that right hand and take it all the way to the outside edge of the left foot or leg. And then look over to your left and try and twist your entire body over to the left side. Three breaths. One, two, three. Slowly make your way up and that's all we're going to do in this pose. So we release the right leg, bend the left leg. Place this block under the right sit bone if you need to. Reach with the right foot, left arm in the air, looking over the left side. Hold it, one, two, and then bring that left hand all the way to the outer edge of the right foot, twisting. You feel this very, very strongly in your back if you twist quite well. One, two, and three, and then slowly come back. Now bring the legs together, and then take your right foot and place it on top of the left thigh. Take it um, as far up the thigh as you can. A little bit of a hip gain we're gonna do now. So bounce the right knee up and down. And then if this feels wrong, if this doesn't, if your knee doesn't like it, then just drop your foot on the floor, just inside the thigh. We're going to lift the rib cage up on the in-breath, and then we're going to reach around the foot on the out-breath. We're going to inhale, exhale one, inhale, exhale two, inhale, Exhale, three. Now when you come up, do it slowly and just release that leg. Let's go for the other side. So again, if your foot doesn't like being in the lotus, particularly when we do the forward fold, take the foot down onto the mat. Lift the ribs, lift the upper body, inhale. Exhale, reaching for your foot. Inhale, look up, and then exhale, fold, one, two, three, and four. Now slowly come up. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to try and work towards Padmasana, the lotus pose. The whole idea of practicing yoga originally was to be to able to rid the body of pain and stiffness so that you can head up into the mountains and meditate for six or seven hours without getting pain in the body. That was the original idea. Okay, so what we're gonna do is take the right foot into half lotus, see what that feels like. And this is the way to learn. Sliding the left foot underneath the right knee to start with. See what that feels like. Now, push that foot slightly forward. And what we do, I've seen it many, many times, people try and lift the foot up and try and lift it onto the thigh. And it doesn't want to do that. That's not the right way. So what you do is you place your hands like that, like a scoop. And then you scoop underneath the foot from the back and you slide into lotus position. Okay, try it. 
Many years when I tried it, many years ago, it was painful in my ankles, in my hips. So what we do is little and often, little and often. Don't hold it for too long, but let's just stay for four breaths. Inhale. Exhale, one. Breathe in. Breathe out for two. Inhale. Try and stay with it. Exhale for three. Inhale. And exhale for four. Now you've got a choice. You can either come out of it and have your legs in front. Or you can try the next step. So you ready? This is ready for my regulars. <laughs> so if, if you're in Lotus and you're, you're fine, come up onto your knees. In your lotus, yes, I'm serious. And then slowly push your hip forward and come down onto your front and hold it for one, two, breathe deeply, three, four. And five. And when you come up, use your hands, lift yourself carefully back, and hey presto, just release your legs, let them go. Did you do it? If you did it, take a photo, send it to me. I want to see proof. Inhale, reach the arms up, and exhale, reach for the sides of the feet. Little rock from side to side. Inhale, look up. And then exhale, forward fold. One, two, three, four, and five. Come off slowly, take your hands just in front of your hips, lean forward. And are you ready? Going to lift your butt. Lift it, one, two, three, four, and five. Come back down. Cross the right knee over the left. Inhale, reach that left arm up, and exhale. Take it across to the right side, lateral stretch. Inhale, exhale, take it slightly further. Inhale, come up. Exhale, hook your elbow over the knee. Go for a twist now. Inhale. Exhale for one. So when you do your twist, don't lean back. Okay, so no leaning back. Nice upright position. And what you're looking for is the center of the chest to be level with the outside edge of your right hip bone. Inhale. Exhale, three. Breathe in. Breathe out for four. Okay, we'll release. Release that leg. Let's get ready for another lift. Are you ready? Inhale. Exhale, lift your butt. One, two, three, four, and five. Come down again. Left foot over right knee. Left hand reaches out, right arm comes over the top, lateral stretch, one, breathe in, breathe out, two, take it further, and then come up, reach the right arm up, inhale, exhale, hook over the left knee, check that the centre of the chest lined up with the outside edge of the hip, one, two, day today. Make the most of it. Take your hands behind your knees, lift the chest, lean back, lift the legs. One, you don't have to let go. Two, three, four, five. Now extend the legs, lean forward, lift the butt. One, two, three, 
four, boat number two, one, two, three, four, legs down, can you lift the butt and your legs, I wonder, have a go, one, two, three, four, did you do it, with a photo please, I want to see evidence of all your hard work, last boat, one, two, three, four, last lift, off you go, are you ready, one, two, three, four, lie down on your back and relax, what we're going to do, we're not having a shavasana, you can do that when this video ends, or you can go for a nice walk. I'm going to take the dog for a walk. His name is Bear, by the way, if you ever see him in the woods. You see this bear in the woods. Here he is. Hello. Alright. So, lying on your back. Feet hip distance. Yep. Walk is time in a minute, isn't it? Palms are next to the hips. You're going to inhale. And as you exhale, lift your hips. Clasp your hands underneath. Lift the chest towards the chin. One, two, three. Okay, okay, I know, I know. Four, boy. And five, and then come back down. I'm really sorry about this. It's because I opened the door. Go back out. One more minute there, honestly. Okay. I know this isn't back bend time, but let's just try it. Let's just have the faith. If you've got the faith, arms in the air, hands next to the shoulders, fingers running down the line of the body, and then push up onto your head, and then lift the head, hold it for one, two, three, four, and five. Oh dear. Come down. If you did it, give yourself a pat on the back because it's not easy first thing in the morning and it's not easy with no real preparation at all. Okay, so let's just sit again in lotus or no lotus. Doesn't matter now. Okay, we've worked the best we can this morning. Remember there's another yoga session on at five o'clock this afternoon. Not with me, with some other wonderful yogi though, I believe. You're going to inhale now. Exhale, calm everything down. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Hold the breath, one, two, three, Four. Exhale. One, two, three, four, five. Take the right hand, press the thumb into the right nostril. Inhale through the left nostril. Tuck the chin into the throat. Squeeze the pelvic floor. And then exhale through the right nostril. Once more. Bringing some beautiful feminine energy into your body. Hold the breath, tuck the chin into the throat. And then exhale through the right nostril. Inhale, release the hands, bring both nostrils together now. Hold the breath. And exhale. I'm going to raise the vibration and end the session with an OM. And it's just purely a vibration. There's no religion attached to this whatsoever. Take your hands to heart centre. Close your eyes. Inhale. Namaste.
namaste my friends <laughs> have a lovely day i hope you enjoyed that short but sweet session have a wonderful day and let me know how you found that any feedback is always welcome namaste